Go get it inside one. Alright, now it's my turn to hop on the bike. Alright, let's go get it. Can you update the thing? Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go get it. Alright, let's go Sephiroth! Alright, so I uh, didn't see what happened, but this Sephiroth did take down my Ike in a best of five money match. It's nothing to laugh about. Skin Tilla. Interesting ledge trap. Interesting escape option. Interesting buffering. Oh my god. Studs had that. You trolling? You trolling, man? Alright. Uh, I, low key, if Ruski takes a stock, he could cheese him. Yeah, yeah, that, that shit's not gonna work on uh, Soro. He's having none of that. Both of these players are so cringe. One guy is camping while well down, the other is taunting. All right, we, this this Sora looking better than Meister Sora. Just saying, bro, Meister Sora won a local. All right, uh, Studer taking game one. Ruski not playing around again, going mess. Wait, who's in losers finals? Oh, it's not. Okay, okay, I see. All right, so the winner of this is gonna have the honor of taking on Z3 in Grand Finals for at le at minimum one set but two to win that was actually a really sick edge guard but nothing this character does is sick so Alright, finding the fire but not the conversion. Narrowing out of hit stun. Getting the down throw. Reads the reads the drift, but doesn't quite get a follow-up. The PK flash, probably a misinput. Maybe a bait since it has very little end lag. Good anti-air. Now Ruski's uh, getting his game started, but uh, Stud's gonna shut them right down with the down throw. And the uh, up air. Now taking the momentum. Very good catch on the jump with the back air. 
he was ready, but he was a little off on the execution there. A little risky ledge trap, but Stud's really showing that uh, he knows what to do in those scenarios because if you don't play against Ness often, you just get intimidated by the multi-hit yo-yo. You don't know what the optimal punish is or if you can punish at all. Finding the dash tag and the up tilt in response. Yeah, this is looking rough right now. Uh, oh, that was a really good walk back in the back row. Ruski taunting to power up. Studs bringing him all the way off stage, looking for the edge card. Actually finds it. That was actually that was really good. And that smash is going to take that. So game three. Back on FD, let's see what adjustments uh, Ruski makes and, and uh, Studs, of course. What's up? What was the match Uh, 2-0, 2-0. This matchup looking a little, uh, I don't know, I have no knowledge of these characters, but Sora's sword is definitely going to help in the, uh, the matchup against Ness, just beating the fuck out of him in advantage state. Going deep for that counter, that was actually pretty sick. Really good, just running, running under him and up smashing. Ruski's actually really good at that. When I played him in the uh, in the mini money matches on Wi-Fi, he did that to me a lot. Purposely not going for the loop to catch the air dodge. Very good. Uh, simple but works. Now the loop start. Delayed it to get more. Very very smart from studs. The Sonic Glide going to get stuffed out. It's an even game. Brewski doing some tricky movement, baiting Studs into an option. Studs not going to budge though, has enough experience there. That was a rough situation, Ness in the air against Sora's uh, Keyblade. It's very tough. Wow, reading that like a book. Great patience from Ruski and going to get a great reward out of it as a result. And now, PK firing the whipped up smash. That was weird as fuck. That Nair didn't hit and he's going to die as a result of that Nair uh, just barely being off. Ruski not approaching, just going to shoot PK Fire safely. It looks like these adjustments are coming in handy. Very dangerous. Any back throw, any up smash, any backer by Ness, just going to delete Sora. Ruski playing really slow, no need to approach, but Studs overshooting and getting the reward. Ooh, that was a little ambi ambitious, nonetheless. Yep, back throw, we're gonna take it, now 
You see your reverse 3 0 from Bruski potentially? That combo is so satisfying, I, I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, back to the game. Both players just kind of spa trying to space each other out, feel each other out so far. Playing kind of slow neutral. A lot of positioning and throwing out safe hitboxes. Good jab. That up smash covering so much and now it's stuck in the ledge trap scenario. Uh, I don't I don't know about that because it looks like a counter is gonna work, but that up smash just barely not hitting him and then able to punish the counter because there's a hitbox afterwards. Finding the up B, very good anti-air. But Ruski has a lot of extra credit right now. This is looking really dangerous. Oh, really good magnet stall in the back air. Finds the down air, but not the spike hitbox. That was fucking sick. Shoto down hill and uh, up smash. What a beast. Okay, finding the little loop into uh, into up air. Studs playing like a real sword, not some cringe elite smash sword. Tries to go for the down throw PK fire on the missed tech. Now Studs getting something started. Only 28%. Ruski going to answer right back. That was a really good frame trap idea since, like I said, PK flash has very little end lag. Able to follow up if they're sleeping. A little bit of loop action. Down smash going to snuff out Stores recovery. Is there another one coming? No, he's going to go for the spike, but misses. Now he rolls past him. Going for PK fire now. He's in the corner. He rolls out. A lot of Nair's coming out trying to defend himself. Oh, that looked really grabbable. I would have grabbed there as well. But the great spacing is going to let uh, Studs find the kill on the miss with grab. A lot of retreating aerials from Ruski. He, he doesn't feel a need to approach, and I agree. Oh, that up smash almost had it. He was in the fire. That up smash is going to do it. Oh, it's not... Sora is looking like a heavyweight. Oh, that will do it. Yep. Why you get up attacking? Why you get up attacking? Game five. Now, the real question is if Stud switches to Yoshi or stays on Sora. Definitely going through his mind right now. Alrighty, sticking with the Sora has confidence. I respect that a lot. Studs just waiting in the beginning and finding a good advantage out of it. I had never seen that before, but that was a pretty pretty slick trick. Dash attack, uh, overshooting to call out Ruski's retreat. Very ambitious. Uh, I mean, sometimes in game five, you gotta go for those hard reads when you can. It's 
get the lead. Wow, following up the run up, run up shield with the dash grab, very good. Ruski trying to wall him out. Really good parry finds the up smash as a result. Floats right behind him, behind the F smash, and going to grab him. A little late on the up smash, but that up there is going to take it. Ruski with a pretty good lead, I'd say. Oh, never mind. Uh, Sud's going to just do the classic get off the angel plat into F smash the other way. This is looking very dangerous. Ruski just needs to get back into neutral, and he finds it. Now, some PK fire and fair pressure. That was a good overshoot attempt and no punish. The fair is into PK fire. I don't know how he fell out. Sword just so floaty, but Ruski continuing the onslaught. Magnet, Nair, and dash grab. Just there's nowhere to run. Up throw. Ooh, getting out of trouble. That was a really good option because like even if it didn't hit him, uh, he could have just done that. Great backer. Oh, a little bit of sus DI. Maybe uh, Stud's just wavering a little bit at the end. Gonna die. Finds a down throw. This could be good. Very good patience. Just waiting for the options and reacting. Looking really close. Ooh, that was a really good fade back. And finds a hit as a result. Oh, unfortunate SD. No, he makes those back. Ness is top five. All right, bro. See my Ness. Okay, gets up there. It's an actually even game. Studs did a really good job making sure Ruski playing patient. Ruski didn't get any uh, unneeded extra credit to find the kill. Gets a back throw. Looks for fire. Yep. Lots of fires coming out, and I honestly think that's the play right now. A lot of good rolls for positioning coming from both sides. Grabs him out of the fire. This is very scary. What a good frame trap. There's just nowhere to go. So many buttons coming out in the right spots. Forward here from ledge. The nest special. Oh, that was smash. He had the right idea. He's just a little bit off. And Sora was a little less floatier. <laughs> Both sides playing so slow, trying to find a way in. Ruski just playing on the defensives. Sora just slowly inching his way in. Oh, that was smash. At any time, if he finds one of those, he's just dead. But now he's off stage. That back air would have done it. Oh, and having the audacity to just run up and grab. I really, really like that. Ruski going to be joining Z3 in grand finals from the loser side.